hi guys so excuse my hair I just got out of the shower and I just didn't have time to do anything to it so I'm rolling with it so we're gonna get started so I'm starting off with my NYX pore filler primer I am in love with this primer lately it is it's so smooth on your face and it just makes everything disappear and it's really really nice so I just lathered that all over my face next I went in with jelly pong pong all over glow and I applied this all over my face on top of the primer and that's just going to give you that really nice glow to your skin so I couldn't go any further without doing my eyebrows so this is the NYX auto eyebrow pencil in dark brown and I'm just going to fill them in as normal So next I'm going out with my Real Technique brush, I don't know what this is called, round top something, I'm not sure. And my NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray along with my L'Oreal True Match Foundation in Rose Ivory. And I'm just going to spray a little bit of the Dewy Finish Setting Spray onto my brush. And then I'm going to apply some foundation onto that and then apply it to my skin. So this is a thing I've been doing lately. And I feel like it's really freshened up my skin. I've got really, really dry skin. So I feel like this just gives that little bit more moisture that it just, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It's just really, really working with my skin. So um, every time I apply a new pump of foundation, I make sure to spray the brush as well. So really, really loving this technique uh, lately. Um, I'm gonna continue to really buff that into my skin. So then I go in with my Real Techniques Beauty Blender and I just blend over all of what I just done and I feel like this just helps my dry skin that little bit more. And it makes sure that everything is really pressed into the skin just to give that nice airbrushed finish. So next I'm going in with my Max Factor Master Touch Concealer in Ivory and I'm just putting that underneath my eyes in a triangle shape and I just done the um, inner corners of my eye as well just to brighten those up and then I went in with my Beauty Blender again and just blended that all out. So I'm taking my Rimmel Stay Matte Setting Powder in Transparent and I'm just going to put that all over my face. I don't know what this brush is, it's an angled brush I got at college, um, no idea where it's from or anything but it was clean so I grabbed it. Next I'm going out my Technique Bronzer in Auto Bronzant, I think that's how you say it. But I'm just taking the brush that it came with, this big massive fluffy one, and I'm just going to pinch it so it becomes a lot straighter, sharper, I don't know what the word is to use there. And I'm just going to carve out my cheekbone and then I'm going to blend all that out. So then I'm taking this stiff dome brush and I'm going to put it into the lightest brown you see there in the bronzing palette and I'm just going to contour my nose. So I'm bringing this from my eyebrows down the bridge of my nose and then just across the very tip of my nose, just a small bit and then I'm going to blend all that out. You want to make sure when you're blending your nose contour that you're blending upwards because if you blend downwards then it just, it's not right.
So I couldn't find my fan brush, so I'm just going to use this one. And I've taken the Catrice Pure Shimmer Highlight in Nude. And I am in love with this. Check that out. It is amazing. So gorgeous. And I found out while I was filming this, as I was showing you, and on the back of it, it says that it's limited edition. So I'm going down to buy about 50 of them to make sure I have one for the rest of my life. So then I'm going in with my Catrice Blush in Love and Peach. And I'm taking this uh, round top angled brush. Um, I got this in a set from eBay, but they're pretty good brushes. So I'm just going to go ahead and do my blush with this. Then I'm taking my stay matte again and that angled brush that I used before and I'm just going to set everything again. So I'm just going to really buff this into the skin and it just gives that gorgeous finish to it. I am finishing off with setting my makeup with the setting spray and that is about it so I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I'll see you in my next one.